All right, I'm back. So now I'm opening my second box. Like I said in the part one video, I bought four boxes of these glass containers. Each one of the boxes has five glass jars in it with a bamboo top. Really clean, really simple, very nice, high quality glass jars. Um, and as I mentioned before too, I don't think I have enough. Now, of course, when I get all of these glass jars out, it's going to look like I have a whole lot, but it's really not a lot compared to all the things that I have to put in there from the pantry. So you'll see. I'm just unpacking all the boxes, um, trying to see how it comes. Now, one of the things that I read in the reviews said that not only were their glass jars broken when they got them, but the little plastic round piece that kind of creates the suction on the lid they had theirs attached to the lids already mine are actually not so the boxes that i've opened so far they all come in these individual packs and you have to attach them to the bamboo lids themselves so that may have been a reason why people were complaining um that it wasn't packed right or that the glass jars were breaking if those were already on there but mine weren't on there like that so this one particular box was packed different than the other ones they had an extra piece of insulation so i'm guessing this is probably after some people may have complained that some of their jars had broken um because it seems like they packed it a whole lot tighter so you can see it's different than the other ones that i opened but this is the last box so I now have all of the containers out, which is, again, not enough. So I'm going to start looking to see what can go in what. Now, the only thing about this, of course, when you get these boxes of containers, and let's say there's five in there, the sizes that you want are not necessarily the sizes you're going to get. They're all five different sizes. Um... And so you got like one big one and then the rest of them are kind of like smaller and I really needed mostly big ones. But you can see I'm putting those little silicone rings on the lids and that's what's going to actually give it that suction to keep everything in the jar fresh so it kind of like sticks on there. You see? So I don't know why some of the people um, who bought these had theirs already on there. Mine weren't on there, which I'm glad it wasn't. So now I'm just going to get some of the bags down that I'm going to actually put in the jars. What I should have done, though, to prepare better, I should have actually taken the things that I wanted to be in big jars and did those first. Because what I find myself doing towards the end, and you'll see kind of towards the end of the video, I have a couple more things that I want to go in the tall jars, but I've already used all the tall jars. So at some point, you're going to see that I'm going to be switching some things out, taking some things out of the jars, putting it back into the plastic containers I had, because what I'm going to have to do is order some more containers. And these glass containers, I'm just trying to figure out how many more I need to order. I think I'm going to order two more boxes, which will give me 10 more jars. I did write a list of things, so I'll see if that list will be enough for the 10 jars. But this is my pasta. This is one of the main things I needed the tallest jar for. Um, I bought this big bag of pasta. It's um, gluten-free. It's made of quinoa and am amaranth. Um, it's really good. The kids actually love it. And it doesn't taste gluten-free. It tastes like regular pasta. But I got that from Sam's. And so, of course, everything from Sam's comes in this huge bag or box. And so um, I'm trying to simpli simplify this. Uh, and make it look a whole lot neater. So now I'm putting my beans in there. Another big bag I bought from Sam's. They're not all going to fit in there. Because that's too many. Then I won't be able to get the jar to close. So you'll see as I go through this stuff. Now, one of the things that I'm noticing too. I wish that they had a company when they sell these glass jars like this, and it's for organization and storage, that you can customize your set. That would be awesome if you can just say, instead of the five piece of different sizes, 
I want like five of the tall jars or four tall jars and one small jar, you know, but this particular company didn't allow to do that. So, but it's fine because I use all the jars. I just needed more bigger jars than smaller ones. So you see, I had to take some of my beans out because they all didn't fit. But like what I should have done was went from big jar to small jar. And then that way, at least I would have known how many more big jars I needed as opposed to doing it the way that I did and then making my list. I just didn't think this project was going to be as big as it turned out to be. I honestly thought this was going to be done quicker. I want to say that I started this at like eight o'clock in the morning and I didn't finish it until maybe 11. So it took me three hours to get this done. But when I looked at the pantry, I really thought, okay, I'm just going to take everything out, put it in glass jars and put it right back in. It's not going to take that long, but yep, it took long. And I'm glad I did it. I mean, I think it turned out really nice. It didn't turn out exactly the way that I wanted, honestly, because again, I try to be a perfectionist and my vision for my pantry was really very, a, a clean, minimalistic look simple. I didn't want any labels on it. I didn't want any tags on it. I want it to be very clear. Whatever is in the jar, you know what it is by looking at it. You know, like this is my sugar. I know when I look at it that this sugar, so I don't need to put a label on it. Now, some things, and you'll see it a little bit later, some things are not as easily recognizable um, as others. So you can tell oatmeal, you can tell granola, you can tell nuts, you can tell sugar, but when it gets to things like cornstarch, flour, bacon flour, uh, bacon soda, gluten-free flour, you I mean, you don't really know because it all looks like flour. So I don't know how I'm going to do those. Um, I do know that I put the cornstarch in my spice drawer. And that's another video I did. You can look back from my spice drawer organization. So I put cornstarch in there because I don't use cornstarch too often. Um, so hopefully that'll, you know, take some of the confusion away because I put it in that drawer, but, um, my flour, I don't know whether I'm going to put my baking flour in the glass jar or just my gluten-free flour. But what I think I might do, I, I saw another person do this on a video, some little hack where they wanted the clean minimalistic jars too, with all the labels. And they just put a, a small tag that they taped at the bottom of the jar so no one can really see it but you. And that way you would know what's in it. You know, if you needed to pick up that jar and you had a couple jars that had flour in it, you can put on there, okay, gluten-free flour or baking flour or cornstarch or whatever you wanted to put. And then that way it doesn't take away from the look. So I think I may do that because I do still want to get the stuff out of the bags and the boxes, which is my main goal. So this is my granola and that all fit in there. So that's good. Guys, I have so many boxes you'll see at the end, but it's like, oh my gosh, I have a ton of boxes. I've, I've been ordering a lot of stuff and it seems so simple to just do pantry organization. You would think that it wouldn't take that long or you wouldn't need so much stuff, but no. And I guess if it would have come in maybe like a 20 piece set instead of a five piece set, if that would have been an option, that would have been better too, but it didn't have that. And now the problem is if you find another company that does have a 20 piece set, you run the risk of it not being the same size jars, size, the same shape jars, you know, the bamboo top may not be the same color. And I'm so picky about things like that. So now I kind of feel like I have to order from, from this particular company just so that all the jars can match. But that's okay. I'm fine with it. I really do like the jars. Um, they look very clean. So, I mean, I'm not complaining about them. But this is a process, y'all. It definitely did not go as quickly as I thought it was going to go. So now I'm just kind of looking to see what's going to go in the jars next. And I don't really know how I'm going to put this stuff back on the shelves. Um, I was intending on 
replacing the wire racks in the pantry. Um, that was a project that I wanted to do too. And I was going to put wooden shelves up there. Um, but we are in the process of building a house. And so it's kind of like I don't really want to do too much more structurally inside. Um, just because it doesn't make sense from a cost perspective. Um, knowing that we're not going to be here much longer. But because I don't like clutter, <laughs> I figure the organization is something I can definitely do that I can take with me. And so, of course, these glass jars and things will come with me. So I don't mind doing that. Now, this is my raisin brand that I'm putting in there. Again, something I got from Sam's. And so the bag is too big. So it's not all going to fit in there. So this is one of those things that I said I would put in the overflow in the overflow box, the little black bins. I would have to put the rest of that in there. So thankfully, some things that I've already put in the jars, I was able to throw away the bags because I've completely emptied them. But there's a lot of them that still has some stuff left. So I wasn't able to throw it away, which is fine. I think, though, that doing this, I'm going to tell you guys, it just really made me realize how truly blessed we are. I know a lot of times when you have kids and, you know, they look in the pantry and they're looking for something to eat. And if they don't see junk food, they're like, mom, we don't have food. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's food in there. It may not be food you want, but there's food in there. Um, and we typically, you know, I, I pretty much make my kids eat as healthy as possible. Um, and so I don't buy a lot of stuff that I don't want them to eat. So anything in the pantry, they have free reign to eat as much as they want because I know it's not anything that's harmful to them. But I'm saying all that to say, as I was going through this organization process and putting things in jars, um, I just realized we have an abundance of food, you know, and I'm just so grateful you always think that, you know, what you don't have and the stuff that you're missing. But I think sometimes we just don't stop to think about how much we really do have. And realistically, we really do have a lot. Um, so I'm just thankful. I just wanted to mention that um, because sometimes I think we only focus on what we don't have enough of. And anytime you get to a point to where you're in your pantry and you're trying to organize things and you see you still have overflow overflow is abundance that's a lot so that just means once we finish with all of this oatmeal that i'm putting in this jar there's still a whole nother bag that's probably going to fill up this jar two more times of oatmeal i mean an oatmeal is is actually a meal guys like <laughs> i don't know why people don't seem to think that that's actually a meal it's a meal you don't have to have meat with every single meal that you eat in order for it to be considered a meal. So anyway, that's my, my little rant. But um, yeah, we definitely have a lot of food. And one day I'm going to get to tackle my second pantry. I do have another pantry. Um, it's right outside of my kitchen, but it's not for food. That's where I put my overflow for like my toiletries. Like, you know, um, soap and tissue and paper towels and cleaning supplies and things like that. Um, my husband just came in and I'm talking to him. So if you see me looking up, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> He's looking at the mess that I have all over the kitchen. And I think at this point he was wanting something to eat and it's impossible for him to fix something to eat <laughs> right now with the mess all over the kitchen. So I'm like, yeah, baby, I didn't think it was gonna take this long. I didn't think it was gonna be this messy, but it is. So that's all right. We we have some fruit, we have some bananas. So he just grabbed a couple bananas and let me do my thing until I get this mess out of the kitchen. But it's coming along guys. So far, I think I've filled up maybe, I don't know, seven jars. Yeah, maybe seven jars. So I have plenty left. And again, now I'm doing like my nuts. And so this is where I'm realizing 
I'm using all my big jars and I'm going to end up with nothing but small jars left. And there's really not much of anything I can put in small jars simply because a lot of the stuff we get, we get it from Sam's in bulk. And so that just means if I use it often, I would have it in a tall jar. If it's something that I don't use too much, I, would, I wouldn't mind putting in a small jar because I'm not going to have to keep filling it up over and over again. But we'll see. Now, see these other containers that I had? They were plastic containers. And I'm trying to do my part, guys. I'm trying my best not to use plastic. I'm trying to use more glass. I'm trying not to do um, wash, like disposable stuff. I'm trying to do the more reusable stuff. Um, I'm going to do a video on that too. Like um, sustainable items and things like that. So this is the reason why I'm changing the jars out just to kind of get rid of plastic and start using glass and then I also think that the glass just looks a whole lot cleaner because there's really nothing wrong with how that plastic container looks I mean it looks nice it doesn't look as nice as the glass jars look but it looks nice it's okay so yeah we're getting there we're making some progress those are my lentils and they fit perfectly in there. So that's really good. So you see the jars? All right, so let's see where we are now. Okay, so I'm on my beans now. So these I actually got just from the regular store. So it's not the big Sam's like bags which is fine because we don't, this is black eyed peas. We don't do black eyed peas too often. So I don't need a huge jar for that. And that's what I was saying earlier. If it's going to be something that I don't use a lot of, I don't need the big jars for. Um, so that's why I put these in a small bag. I probably, I don't know. I think I make black eyed peas maybe twice a year, maybe three times. So I don't use it a lot and they couldn't even fit all in there. I had to take some out. I had to take some out again because it still wouldn't fit. Yeah, see, you want that suction. And so that's how you know the stuff is going to stay fresh if you have that suction on it from that little ring that goes around it. So now it fit. And then the next one, these are white beans, but these are a different type of white beans. Um... Now, for some reason, they all fit perfectly in this jar, probably because they're much smaller, but they all fit in there. But I really do like these glass containers, like, and they're not really heavy, but they're still quality. It's not like they're cheap containers. Um, I think I paid, I want to say $29.99 for each box, which is not bad, $30 for five glass jars. That's really good because you can go to some stores, um, like if you go to Target, you might pay $10 for one glass jar. I have five. Now, the ones at Target, you know, the Threshold brand and things like that may be a better quality because it's they're so much thicker. But these jars are just literally storing my food. I don't need a really heavy, thick jar. And I really don't want it to be heavy because it's going in my pantry. It's not on wooden shelves. It's on the little wire racks. So I really don't want those to be heavy because I don't want the kids to have to try to grab it off the shelf and end up dropping it because it's too heavy. So I'm fine with these the way they are. Um, and you'll see how it turns out. I think it turned out really nice. I think my biggest thing, the reason why I wasn't satisfied with it is just because I wasn't able to get rid of all of the bags and boxes but I don't know if there's a fix for that. I mean, if y'all have an idea of what I can do with the bags of boxes, please let me know. But realistically, I mean, if I have stuff left over, I'm not going to just throw it away. I just don't know where I'm going to put it to keep the pantry organized. I like stuff to be very clean and decluttered and minimalistic. And you'll see when I do, um, I'm going to do a closet video where I need to kind of organize my closet and declutter some stuff. And 
I just don't like to have a whole lot of stuff all over shelves and things. So I think that's why I was kind of disappointed in how this turned out just a little bit because I thought in my mind it was just going to be nothing but glass jars. But again, realistically, everything can't go in glass jars, especially when I have canned goods and things like my tea bags and stuff like that. So we'll have to figure out how I'm going to organize that stuff. And even that is a task. So now I'm just trying to look to see what else can actually go in these jars. So we'll figure some stuff out. And this is when I'm also realizing that there's a lot more stuff that I had in the kitchen on the stove that I didn't realize I had and I didn't have any more jars. So now I'm like, oh goodness, I think I'm gonna have to take some stuff out of some of these jars just to put other stuff in it. Because I definitely wanted to put my quinoa, this big huge bag of quinoa, I wanted that to be in one of the tall jars. And I think this is either my last tall jar. Yep, this is my last tall jar. But I really need about four, at least four more um, tall jars. So this is my quinoa. Again, I got this from Sam's. Um, I do use quinoa <clears throat> a lot. So that's why I wanted it in, in one of the big jars. But then I also have those croutons that I got from Sam's in a big a bag. And that was like for my salads and stuff. Now my, um, my son, when he comes over, he likes to just eat the croutons by itself. But yeah, so I'm going to put those in a, a jar too, but I'm not going to be able to put it in a tall jar because I've already used my four tall jars. I think I use it for my sugar, my raisin bran, my oatmeal, and my quinoa. So this is not the tallest jar. This is like the second to tallest jar, but it's definitely not going to fit all of these croutons either. I know I'm making a mess. I've wasted so much stuff trying to pour it in here. But it's okay. So I'm making progress. You know, like I'm almost done, actually. But the <laughs> the really stressful part, I guess, about this is trying to put it back in there. Um, now, I don't know about you guys. When you do stuff like this, when you try to organize things, if you look at it and think, this doesn't look any different than it did when it started. <laughs> so I hope um, that it looks a little bit different, a little better. But I don't know. We're going to have to see because I don't, I don't think it looks too much different. I honestly don't. Now, I'm just realizing this cornmeal, two completely different types of cornmeal. I didn't realize that until after I started putting it in a jar. But you'll see once I get to that. So I'm understanding at this point, I don't have enough jars. So now I'm like, okay, what's going to go in the jars? Because it's not going to fit everything that I thought it was going to go in. So now I'm lining up what I want to go in the jars with the size of jar that it needs to go with. Because I only have a few jars left. I think at this point I might have three or four jars left. So now in my mind, I'm thinking, when am I going to order some more? All right. So now I am attempting <laughs> to see how I'm going to organize this. And I'm going to change this up several times, guys, because I have no clue how I wanted to put this in there. I just know the look that I had in mind. Again, my vision was for it to just be glass jars, but I knew realistically that wasn't going to happen. So I'm just trying to see what's going to look the best. But I'm going to move this around. The black bins, even though they're nice to have like for overflow stuff, I didn't really want them showing as soon as you open the pantry. I kind of wanted them to be more hidden because um, they're not as pretty as the glass jars. So that's why I'm kind of like moving it and putting it in a different location. And I, did, I also didn't want to have them like some at the top, some at the bottom. I wanted them to kind of be in the same area just to kind of keep some type of order, if that makes any sense. But... We'll see. Now, these glass jars, thankfully, they fit because I forgot about with the wire racks, there's this little lip at the bottom 
that kind of hangs over. And if you're not careful with the size of things that you put there, you see how, how I had to like duck the tall one under that little lip in order for it to fit. Um, I could have ended up with containers that didn't fit on those shelves. And I didn't think about trying to measure them. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. You want to make sure that you're getting the appropriate size um, depending on your cabinet space. Because especially if you have like wooden shelves, you can't just get any size that's going to fit there. Because you have to make sure the glass jars are not too tall or you'll only be able to use the top shelf for your tall ones. And I didn't want to do that. I kind of wanted to have different sizes all over. And so that's what I'm doing. Now, I haven't kind of found out exactly how I want this to be organized in there. Um, right now, I'm kind of putting like breakfast foods kind of up at the top. So I have the oatmeal and um, the raisin bran and things like that at the top. And then I have like my nuts and my toppings, like my granola and stuff at the bottom. And then I have beans and things like that in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to keep it like that. But I'm kind of putting like big, small, big, small, big, small. Um, this is probably not how it's going to end up being. Again, I'm kind of like just playing it by ear to see what looks the best to me right now. And it's I'm frustrated at this point because it's not looking the way that I thought it was going to look. So I'm, I'm <laughs> kind of getting irritated that it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. But you'll see like so far this is how it's looking. Which again, the glass jars are beautiful, but then look at all of this stuff I still have left in the kitchen that I have to put up. So now I'm going to put my little racks up here for my cans. That's going to be the easiest part. I just don't know how to make that look any prettier um, other than putting them on this, these racks. I've seen some other videos where people had them kind of like in the little can storage things where you drop the can in there but I don't really like that because then you don't see what you have and so I like having the racks to where you can at least see what you have because otherwise you'll go to the store and buy something that you already have which will make your pantry full pretty much like mine and then you'll end up with all of this extra stuff like I'm just looking at all of these different cans that we have and I don't even remember buying all of these cans but I think a lot of these came from Sam's. And so obviously when you go to Sam's, you get like 12 cans in one box. So we honestly don't use a whole lot of canned goods. Um, we typically eat more out of, you know, fresh produce or packs, like big packs of beans and quinoa and oatmeal, stuff like that that's in bags. We don't do a lot of canned goods. So these canned goods I probably had for a very long time. They're not expired because I did check them when I took everything out to make sure I'm not putting anything back in there that expired. Um, it's just that we don't, I try my best not to use canned goods anymore. And so now it's to the point where I already had the canned goods. So at some point I'll probably donate them and give them away if we're not gonna use them. But this is what it's looking like so far. I mean, I think it turned out okay. This is what I mean when I say, mm, I kind of feel like it's not too different than the way it was before other than the glass jars. So that's a little disappointing, but that's okay. We're going to still work on it. I'm sure it's going to, it'll be okay for me. So let me know what y'all think. Thanks.